Hi, folks. Uh, welcome back to my long dark. I've been so hungry in my life. Uh, interloper playthrough. I'm day seven, starting out here. Uh, we are waking up at the Hydro Dam in Mystery Lake. Um, generally in good condition. We we did a big harvest of um, scrap metal, so we're kind of making preparations to go over to. I could use a drink. Uh, to go over to um, Muskeg and do our forge, but we still haven't found enough clothing to really make that a safe trip. I, I'm still wearing a white dress shirt, so day six, day seven. So, not ideal. I'm planning on looping back through... Well, I have to think about what I'm going to do, but there's a couple other loot, loot possibilities in Mystery Lake that I haven't checked yet. The kind of, the ones that are... I think it's north of the railway line. So those are sort of my last hopes to find some some kit I can wear to keep warm while in caves and so on in the musk egg. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's hit the road. Uh, I'm going to load up on all my scrap metal and, and I'm finding myself still hurting a little bit about yesterday's mistake where I destroyed one of my uh, tools. I destroyed a hacksaw, you can see there. That's a bummer. It's just bad news. Um, but it is what it is. This is what happens. I luckily, I have another hacksaw back in base camp, so no major emergency. Um, Food-wise, we've got a whole bunch of cattail stalks, which is great, and some tomato soup. But I realized that without a hacksaw, I can't harvest from animals. So imperative is to go back and get that hacksaw, the spare hacksaw. And then I'm back in action. So uh, let's hit the road. I'm going to drink a little water first, uh, get us started. We're at full condition, which is great. And now, and we have 29 kilos, so let's hit the road and hope that the weather's okay. Okay. Weather's not great, uh, but um, at day seven, we're only a couple days out from the end of the grace period for cabin fever. So, a little important that I get a move on and start um, getting things squared away for Muskeg. I think, you know, when we hit the cabin fever deadline, which is, again, I think it's day 10, uh, that's a good time to go to Muskeg because, hey, there's no indoor locations in Muskeg. So, sort of by definition, we'll be sleeping outdoors and healing up from our cab fever. Okay, so don't see the wolf. Um, Gotta eat some. I'm at least going to make for one of those cabins there. Uh, those uh, trailers, that is. And warm up. And then I'm just kind of hoping this weather clears. So I'm hoping it doesn't fully blizzard out on us today. Okay, so the wolf was there. Wow, this wolf really got this place locked down. Ugh, so now I'm trapped in this cabin. Um, okay, well, let's make good on it. Let's break a crate down. Um, hmm. Hacksaw is broken, so there's no use in taking out the shelf or anything. Gee, this is a not a great situation. I'm may have to run, uh, run that wolf and uh, give him the slip. This may be a use of a flare, unfortunately. Huh. Well, let's take a look at our kit, see if there's anything we can do to kill some time. What's our clothing situation? Uh, socks. I generally wait till past 80. But I suppose for the sake of argument. Let's just do these. Long underwear. Pretty critical. Uh, that's good. And let's do the socks as well. We're going to need the warmth anyway where we're going. Okay. I feel like it warmed up a little bit. Um, I'm going to take a peek out that door. In fact, I better get a... Uh... Oh, gee. Listen to that. Oh. Snowed in. Ha. Hmm. No. Much, uh, oh, we can make some roads. 
throws him, so let's do that. G. Um, throws a bit of a kink in things. How much cloth are we going to need? One cloth for that. Just one each, so really I don't need much cloth. So I think I'm going to go ahead and repair this thing too. It is our only outer garment. And because we don't have anything else to do, I'm going to break down some more cardboard and stuff. That's 50 if I checked that last time. Yeah. Now the flip side is, I believe in a storm like this, the wolf's gone. So that's kind of pick your poison situation. Storm like that's gonna rip up my clothes, so all that repair I just did will be out the window. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna just break these down for kill time. Boy, the, the day's almost gone, you know. Now again, I pretty much every day count on um, by the end of the day, where they're clearing up. It real I find it rarely goes into evening. Uh, let's drop these. I've got plenty of cattails. I could read. Oh, I'm hungry. Can't read. Um, don't really want to waste food just yet. Um, let's take a peek. Okay. So it's actually fairly warm here shit in their wind shelter. Huh. But yeah, this is not a good not good travel weather. that wolf's not just hiding out behind me. Felt like I heard a wolf. Well, that's just disturbing. Um, it snowed in. Five hour read on our tree. awful, but I'm just going to wait. I mean, I'm going to wait again. Okay, thirsty. Wait again. Because if I have to stay the night, this is where we're staying. But, yeah. Well, okay, let's get, get useful here. I should have come here earlier. Oh, dark. Okay, so there, it's done. Um, we're overweight. Just barely. Perhaps if I... Drop a 
rock. Let's take a peek outside. Still a pretty bad storm here. Oh, and the wolf's here. God. Yeah, this is what I'm calling like a bust of a day. Um, yeah, like a complete bust. We still have lots of energy left. It's just not a good situation. Okay, right off. So, sorry guys. Um, really a bad day. I guess I might as well actually, now that I think about it, I might as well preserve my energy. And sleep for less time. That way I have to eat fewer stocks, right? The weather finally cleared up. I'll take a quick peek outside. down there. Do you know? Maybe those are maple, but I can't even cut them down if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to make for the um, logging camp trailers. <sighs> so this day is not a complete wa waste. Um, Straight up, I'm scared. Full moon. Oh, there's a wolf right there, so that's not good. And just to check. Okay, I do have a flare. So let's get that out. I've got two flares. That's my fallback here if I get in trouble. It's... Boy, I really, um... Miss being later in the game when you can just shut wolves down. There's a deer. That's a good sign. So, head towards that deer. Wolf back where way we came. Let's get towards the deer. good to kind of build up a stick pile. So I'm looking at those houses over there. That's where I'm headed. I'd like to chase the deer in there and oh, see if I'd had the hacksaw, which I broke, we'd be sitting in all kinds of maple and birch. You know, it's just really sad that I broke it, but I'm kind of taking a wide, wide berth around. So I can get a look at that camp there and make sure it's not occupied by a wolf. Doesn't look like it is, so... Yeah, hatchet. Or a hacksaw. Fail. Looks pretty clean over there. Can't feel my feet. Oh, 
lot of moonlight on this full moon, which is excellent. Um, wolves back on the road there. Getting kind of thirsty. Yeah, I'll put put away my flare for now. Drop any of this gear. Not really that useful. Rose hips I like to collect. You end up going through a lot of those later in the game. But that's a deer up the hill, so that's good. Let's take. Oh, it's gonna be dark in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. beds not really willing to use a flare because this is too it's too valuable but I will sit for a second just warm up and I wouldn't mind doing as much of the exterior harvest of this place as I can before sleeping let's prepare some rose hips so I guess I can kind of search these beds for a jacket and don't see one Search that plastic container. Oh, Just hey, a shirt. Now we're talking. Okay, so two shirts. No jackets, but two shirts. I'll take it. And you know what? Oh, I doubt I can repair it because it's so dark out. Um, okay, well, we're going to have to come back, obviously, and do a full search, but let's just take a peek outside. What a beautiful night, wow. Just gonna take a peek in here, make sure there's nothing obvious that I can grab. Frozen corpse, hey. Nothing. This guy didn't make it. This is a big old trailer here. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Okay, well, let's. I think we're gonna just call it and rest. Um, so, what's the food situation? That's our decoy meat, rancid. I don't think I found a can opener, did I? No. So, let's hold on to that. Um, Dip into our cattails or eat that. I'm gonna have to smash that and I'll lose some, so let's dip into our cattails. One. Oops. Mouth so dry. Two. Three. Four. That's six hundred calories. Well, let's do five to seven fifty. And I think that's all we're going to do for the time being. Okay, fine. Let's do six. There. That's a lot of food. A lot of cattails gone, but... Okay, so let's sleep. And we'll see if we can get all ten hours. go. Uh, the end of day seven, guys. So we're on to day eight. I will see you guys tomorrow.